What's up, everybody, and welcome to the glorious game of Risk. I am Logan, aka Laser G, and today we are going to be playing the funniest settings I have ever played in Risk. If you haven't seen the last game I played with these settings, you have to check it out. I had four capitals at the end of turn two, and I'm really hoping it's the same thing here. We are playing manual progressive capitals on the United States. I will show you the full settings in a second, but these are absolutely wild. Okay, this bonus is interesting. It seems good, but it's also split, so it's honestly not the best. We also don't have alliances on on purpose. I'm the host of this game. Uh, someone's always fighting for the noob corner, so I definitely don't want to be there. Do I want to be greedy and try and take the Southwest? I think I do. I think I'm going to cap in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a really good cap on this board because it connects to one, two, three, four, five, six territories. And it has my favorite bonus, the Southwest of the plus four. It really effectively controls it. So yeah, you can see two people fighting for the new corner of this map already. Um, so we're going to take Texas here. I don't think anyone messes with me. Hopefully not, at least. Someone probably blocks me turn one, but I don't think anyone's going to, like, cap here. Uh, but we shall see. Yeah, take a look at the bonuses on this map. So we have plus two for the Pacific Coast, plus four for the Rocky Mountains, plus four for the Southwest, plus five for the Heartland, three for the Southeast, four for the Appalachians, and then plus three total for the new corner of New England. So we are working on our plus four here. Blue did manage to hold their plus three. See if they get broken, but they might hold that turn one, which is really good for blue. Um, maybe I will be able to hold. I have a hunch that someone's going to block me, but we'll see. Take a look at the settings in this game real quick. We are playing global domination, capital conquest mode on the United States, manual setup, 60 second turn, expert AI. It is a ranked game with progressive cards, balanced blitz dice, no filtering. So watch out for the noobs. And we have blizzards on. Everything else is off. Please don't block me, Blue. I think Blue probably blocks me here because they already took their bonus. They don't. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to hold turn one. Very, very, very good. Probably get broken. But, I mean, honestly, in a progressive game, the bonuses are less important, right? It's more about being really strong on capital. Very much expecting a war between red and yellow here that we always see for the noob corner. I'm not going to try and create another position. I'm just going to create a little bit of a buffer zone um, around myself. I don't want orange to be able to hold turn one. Hmm. I think I take... This maybe causes me to fight with orange, but I think I take this. Yeah, I think I take that. Because that gives orange something to do besides break me. And then we'll also give black something to do besides break me. And yellow and red are already busy. So I quite like this. I'm so curious to see how this plays out, guys. Like, the manual setup is always just the wildest thing. There's a reason I don't play on this mode. Like, we already see three bonuses taken on this map, which is just truly bonkers. Um, yeah, I think we give orange a little more to do, right? Give orange more to do. I like it. Okay, let's do some predictions for where capitals are going to be. Is red still here? Yeah, red is still here. They kind of look like a bot, honestly, where they're placing their troops. So I think yellow probably caps on New York if they're smart, but I don't think they're smart. I think blue probably caps on Ohio if they're smart. Um, and I'm not really sure about everyone else. The Montana cap would make a lot of sense for black, right? Because then they would take away this northern pass. That's always interesting. I'm going to mostly be stacking on capital here, and maybe I'll do like a light guard, but I want almost everything on my cap. I don't think I get broken if I have like twos everywhere, but we'll see. I just want to be really, really strong on Oklahoma, I think. And if we get broken, it's not the end of the world. At least we'll learn something, right? I don't want to commit so many troops. I don't want to make it incredibly easy for people to break me. Yeah, I'll go fist bump to black. I'm happy to be cool with black and let them take the Pacific coast. Yeah, I think black is pretty good. Okay, maybe black caps here in Oregon? That would be really interesting. Yeah, this war for the noob corner just always happens. I don't want to be fighting with orange, but they're probably mad at me for blocking their bonus. So maybe we are going to fight. I'll give them a fist bump on my turn. 
I don't think orange is very good because this is the worst bonus objectively. The southeast, it's really hard to guard the southeast, right? And you can see orange like trying to figure out how to guard it and not really succeeding. So my prediction is that orange, yellow, and red are not very good. Blue, hard to say because they were kind of gifted that bonus. Uh, and then I think black is good. So that's my very early prediction. Uh, question is, do I start distributing? I think I now start guarding the other territories a little bit because our capital should be totally fine. Yeah, so now I think I do like a little soft guard, um, but not too, too intense here. And maybe orange breaks me, but I kind of don't think so because I think they're going to be focused on taking their bonus turn one. We'll see. Letting me hold a plus four turn one is kind of crazy, but... I think black is incentivized to be cool with me, right? I think I really do want to guard against orange now because I think orange is the most likely candidate to break. So yeah, I'm just going to start stacking in Texas because I think my capital should be fine at this point. This is so interesting, guys. Like, I don't know why this game mode I find just utterly fascinating, but I really, really do. I don't think black is going to break me, right? Because black has a lot to lose from breaking me. Black definitely wants to be cool with me. And black is good. So I'm not too, too concerned about guarding against black. I really do want to be strong to orange here. Okay, orange puts their capital in Florida. That's horrible. This is just such an, uh, such an abominable capital. I can't even explain how bad of a capital that is. Uh, I'm obviously capping here. Yeah, I mean, just burying his cap deep in his own territory makes no sense. Yeah, okay. I don't think I get broken here. I mean, maybe blue breaks me with the extra troops they get, but I kind of don't think so. Let me go fist bump uh, to orange here. See what orange does about that. Maybe they hit the four. I'm going to give him a well played. Wow, he doesn't even take. That's interesting. Stays with the four capital. Okay, orange is just total garbage. Total, total garbage. I don't love this cap either uh, for blue. It's not terrible, but it only connects to two territories. Blue's going to break me. Yeah, blue's going to break me. Fair enough. Okay, so we learned something about blue. They were going to do that regardless of how many troops I had there. So, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Now we learn, right? We only lost two troops and we get a lot of information. Um, so obviously we can't break blue, but, you know, it is what it is. So now we do have to guard more against blue. And they're not going to come down this way. So here's what I do. Everything here. Yeah. So blue is not going to come down through orange, I don't think. Maybe they come down this way, but I think orange is going to guard there. And I'm going to move this to here and go fist bump to black. And I know black wants to be cool with me, right? Yeah, let's go fist bump to black. Yeah, smart. Okay, I like black's game. I like black's game a lot. So he's trusting me, right? We both have a lot to lose in this situation by breaking each other. And he's doing a two point. So I quite like black's position here. Yeah, you always see this. This is just complete nonsense. So these guys are almost dead now. Yeah, I mean, that was always going to happen. And then the main cap is totally ridiculous. I cannot believe Red is an actual person and Captain Main. Main connects to one territory, guys. It is the worst capital in the entire game. I guess in this game, in this particular game, Michigan is worse because Michigan is like deeply buried, but... It's basically a Michigan cap. That's how bad Red's capital is. Red is just completely beyond screwed at this point. And I mean, Yellow played this badly too. Yellow only has five on cap. So, I mean, if, if you're Red, you probably add everything to the six and roll the five cap, right? Although Red's game is just over already. Like that, that was GG for Red. Wow. It's so interesting to me. Every single time I play on this map, people just go so, so hard for this noob corner of mid-atlantic and new england it's only a plus three it's not that good it's a two point plus three and every single time you play the united states map for whatever reason people just like want to kill themselves in new england i have no idea why 
Yeah, red's botting now, and orange is mad about it. That was very predictable. Um, okay, so yellow is going to get the two cap open here, but blue probably breaks them, right? Because blue has been a jerk. So blue is probably going to break yellow. Hopefully they get into a war. That would be quite good. Red is gone. I unfortunately didn't hold. It's, it's, it sucks that blue went before me and got to hold their turn one bonus. Okay. Orange going to do a not 100% roll, confirming my suspicion that orange is not very good. And they roll up. That's interesting. So they don't even take their bonus. Where does the 10 go? Weird. I don't think orange knows how to play. None of this makes any sense to me. Like, this structure is accomplishing nothing. This 7 is doing literally nothing. This is going to break. Yeah, I mean, blue already told you he's a bad neighbor. Wondering if he steals the cap. No, he's just a breaker. He's not prioritizing taking capitals. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't break me, right? He got distracted by this situation, which is very good. And he's going to move into this bonus now. Yeah, blue is just an absolute jerk, but we get to hold. That's very good. I don't want to hit this one of orange because orange is not in a great position to take. So I also don't want to open blue to hit me. Yeah, I think keeping this huge is awesome, because this is basically a two-point as far as blue is concerned. So now we've really established a good position here. Yeah, I think I want more on capital, actually. Let's make an 18 cap, so we can retaliate if blue does something dumb. Um, Yeah, I like this. And then we'll hit this territory, use the slider, and immediately pull back. Blue's not really getting enough to do anything about me. Like, they could go all the way around through orange, for sure. Wonder what black does now. Probably just takes a card. Takes that bonus. Okay, wow. I'm gonna go shocked face. I don't think there's any chance that blue is gonna let him hold that. I'm not gonna go aggressive to black, because as I've talked about, like, me and black need to be cool right now. But... I think that that is going to call Blue's attention to Black here. I don't love that play from Black. I, I think ultimately that's causing Blue to start looking at you. Not that there's that much Blue can really do about it, but yeah. Now that's an interesting, interesting play from Black. Very aggressive, right? Black has already taken a plus six over here on... This is turn two, so pretty wild to take a plus six this early. Uh, yellow's in a really bad spot, right? Yellow might also be botting now. That's really annoying, dude. I hate when noobs, like, slam into each other's troops as hard as they can and then immediately bot. Yeah, that's so annoying, dude. The reason this game is fun, to be fair, is because the United States attracts a lot of newer players who do stupid shit. But it's annoying when they bot, right? And red is still gone. Yep, dude. This is the most telling thing about the noob corner of the United States. The two players fighting for it both bought it after one turn. And red didn't even go, so red bought it after no turns. Combined one turn of playing between these two noobs. Utterly ridiculous. And then red steals yellow's capital. Oh my god, so now that's a free cap. So blue is going to get a free capital. Maybe two free capitals at some point. So I'm worried about blue now. Blue is going to get very strong. And then if they don't break black, then black is going to get very strong as well. We're going to go fist bump to orange. Orange also incentivized to be cool with me. Yeah, we don't mind them holding that because they're closer to blue. He's going to guard against me, though. Wonder what blue does now. There's a lot of stuff for blue to do. Have to imagine they would break black, but they don't. Yeah, he's going to take the free capital. Okay, that's very bad. Maybe the 14 rolls it, but I don't think so. Unless he guards improperly. Yeah, I think you would put 10 there just to make sure that you don't get rolled. Yeah, interesting. What do I do about that? 
I don't want to break black. Hmm. Tough spot, guys. Genuinely pretty tough spot. I think I'm going to do this and open blue to hitting black. Yeah, I actually like this play. Okay, we lose a troop, not ideal. So I'm not going to break black, but I'm going to open blue to do it. That's interesting, right? So now his capital is open to break orange and black. He could also go through orange to break me, but I really don't think that's going to happen. But I feel like blue is probably too focused on this situation right now. I'm going to give black a well played for holding their crazy plus six. This is already such an interesting Cavs game. I mean, turn three, not even turn three, and the board already looks like this. This is why I love these settings, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this, uh, or if you want me to try caps on a different map. Is yellow back? No, yellow's not back, but probably going to break at the very least. But blue is going to keep their capital. Okay, so yellow bot is going to be holding a bonus now. Interesting, and red is almost fully dead. Honestly, the red bot is probably playing better than the red player would have, which is just hilarious to me. Uh, I think this is going to break black, hopefully. Nice. Okay, that's very helpful. Okay, red bot doing my dirty work for me. Love to see it. And fortunately, we have a 13 here, so can't get broken there. All in all, I don't hate my position in this game. I don't think orange is going to break me, right? Orange should be very afraid of my capital. If orange breaks me, I'm obviously breaking them, so they have no reason to break me here. And they don't seem like the biggest noob because they were laughing uh, about the botting out situation. So they at least understood what was going on there. Seven goes up. Yeah, that's where I thought they were going to go. Makes sense. So blue is now fully open. Interesting. I wonder what blue does here. Blue is really the wild card. Uh, orange, yeah, I don't know why you would be moving next to Blue's cap. That didn't make sense. Blue's getting plus 10. I'm going to give Blue a well played. Curious what happens now. Maybe they go this way. Maybe they go down and break Orange and I. That would not surprise me at all. They card skip? Okay. I don't hate it, but there's a chance that yellow is going to roll the 10 capital if you let them hold a bonus. Kind of a weird play. I mean, I get it, right? He wants a bigger trade, but there's two bots in the game, so I don't think it makes all that much sense to skip there. Uh, I don't think I'm skipping, for example. So yeah, I mean, I think this turn just makes too, way too much sense to do where I attack up. Need to make sure we're pretty strong here, so let's make that like a 25. Uh, this I want to be a 15 once I attack. Yeah, that'll be 28. I like this play. I think if someone's really motivated to break me, they'll go around, which is what I like. So I'm making it very inconvenient, right? I'm making it very inconvenient for people to break me, other than Black, who's not going to. Interesting. So Black's going to retake. And yeah, if someone's very motivated to break me, then I don't lose any troops, right, by having these ones here. So all in all, I like the structure a lot. Okay, black is going to remove the red bot. It's going to be pretty expensive. Yeah, they don't. They just start removing red. Interesting, and they guard on this two point here against the red bot, leaving themselves fully open to blue and fully open to me. Interesting play from Black. Long term, if I can get Black's capital, I'll be very happy because I'll really control the whole west of the board. But Black is obviously very strong, so that's a long ways away. Yellow bot's going to break orange, hopefully. Doesn't. Okay, orange gets lucky. But this is why that's such a bad bonus, right? Look at all these places where this bonus is open. Not great. Not great at all. Okay, Redbot's going to kind of struggle for cards here, actually. But somehow still has his capital. 
It's going to get a card off of yellow right here. No, goes 5v5. Okay, that's very good for blue. Because that means blue can get both of these capitals, probably, if they play it right. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. Blue's going to get very strong now. Oh, boy. Okay. Orange going to make sure that yellow doesn't come in that way. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that orange is either a... Ooh, that's smart, though. He adds to his capital and trusts me. I was going to say either beginner or intermediate, but that play actually made a lot of sense. So I really don't have a great sense of how good orange is at this point. Blue's going to take this other capital now. Ooh, blue's going to kill yellow. It looks like. No, he doesn't. Okay, that was an odd play. Don't think blue is particularly amazing. I'm going to say good game. Don't really care about pissing blue off, right? Because blue attacked me first and we know they're a bad neighbor. So both of the bot kills are looking pretty juicy right now. Hmm. I think blue kills them when they're on four. Maybe orange does. Kills yellow, I mean. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky spot, guys. I don't really think there's anything I can do about blue at this point. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything I can do about that. So I'm just going to go up and do this. And we're going to make a gigantic capital. If someone wants to break me, they're going to face my wrath, right? Blue could come down through here and break me. Um, but then they'll open my capital. So I'm actually just going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to create a gigantic 48 cap that's in position to cause mayhem, right? If blue wants to break me, they're going to break me at this point. So I'd rather not lose a gigantic stack for no reason. I'd rather just have a huge cap that's open to doing stuff. Black should not remove red from here if they're smart. Because then they're just feeding the red kill, and they don't. Yeah, I like how black is playing. I'm going to give him another well played. He actually gives red a card here. Yeah, I like black's game. I think black is quite good. Okay, yellow does set on three cards. So red is almost fully dead now. He's also kill guarding the red kill, which is interesting. Black is, that. that is... Um, this is going to hit the four. Yeah, I was going to say, is he back? That kind of looked targeted, but no, he's not back. Okay. So blue is going to hold everything here, which is very scary. Blue has three caps and a plus four, so they're going to be getting a lot of troops. Hopefully orange interrupts this, right? Hoping that orange interrupts blue, but I kind of don't think he will. So I think that black is going to get this kill now. That would have been great if uh, red had a set there and like smashed into the 14. That would have been awesome, but nope. Uh, so now black has a really profitable kill. Four cards for nine troops, especially once a few folks trade in, right? Orange sets. Hopefully they steal one of blue's caps, right? Let's give orange another fist bump. I want orange to focus blue right now. I'm shocked at how orange is playing right now. At first, Orange had almost nothing on cap, and they were doing this crazy guarding structure, and now they're putting almost everything on cap. Are they going to break blue here? I don't think so. I think they just keep up this weird guard that they have going on. Yeah, weird, weird role reversal from the Orange player. And then now they're smashing a ton. Okay, yeah, again, I really don't think Orange knows what they're doing. That that move made no sense to me. And then they leave a 2 here, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, n none of this is good. If you're playing Risk, if you're playing Capitals, don't do any of what Orange is doing here. This, this makes no sense. I mean, I have the extreme opposite of it, right, where I have basically all of my troops on Capital. But, yeah, I mean, I think even if I get broken here, it's better than what Orange is doing for sure. Because I have the biggest stack in the game, which is really what matters. Blue's going to kill yellow right now, I bet you. But yellow only has one card.
Man, black is going to get such a profitable kill on red. That's a bummer. Yeah. So black card skipping only to kill yellow for one card makes absolutely no sense. No sense. Yeah, think about the logic of that. He also traded in to get the yellow kill. So he would just have an extra card right now. So him skipping was dumb, but obviously he's in a really strong position now. I'm going to give him a good game one more time. We are going to trade in uh, Tennessee, Central New England. I think that all makes sense to me. Uh, so yeah, I will trade that in. Whoops. Um, and then do I break black? I don't think so. I think I'm cool to let black have that, honestly. And let's make sure that blue is fully open to go this way. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Cool. And this goes back to cap. So we have a 68 capital. Feeling good about it. We've, hold our bo we've held our bonus every single turn since the first turn. Uh, what? I don't understand the reason for these twos. I'm going to give him an unhappy face about that. And he's going to kill red. I mean, I don't understand why you would guard with twos. Maybe he's thinking that blue is going to come through here. But this makes no sense to me. This is deterring nobody from doing anything, right? This is just making me upset that he's, like, reinforcing this border with me. Where is that going? Uh, okay, I don't like any of this. He's kind of stacking on my border. I guess he doesn't want to get broken. He's giving me a fist bump. But I don't like that. And now he's very, very strong, right? 96 troops and four cards because he got fed the red kill. Okay, orange going to break blue? I think probably not. Orange has been so passive. Orange takes another bonus. So now blue has no choice really but to break that, I don't think. So hopefully blue and orange fight. Orange has been very passive, but I need somebody to fight with blue. And frankly, I need somebody to fight with black. But I feel like just cap stacking is way too strong. What does blue do here? I think blue breaks orange. Maybe also breaks black. We'll see. Blue only has 26 on this cap. So this cap is very much in jeopardy, I think. Right? At some point, black might decide to take this capital. And then blue's position suddenly gets a lot worse because then blue's going to be trapped, literally trapped in the corner here. So blue's real hope right now is that they get strong quickly and they need to add to this 28. This 28 is their most important capital, in my opinion. Hmm. Another thing I could do is try and take this bonus which would give black no cards, but then black would have to break me and then I would have an excuse to break black. But I think black is probably too good to fall for that. So I'm not going to do that. I think I just do this and open blue again. I'm going to open black's capital, actually. Yeah, let's do this. Let's open black's capital and then go back to our cap. So I'm playing instigator right now, right? I'm fully playing instigator at this point. I just want everyone open to everyone else while I'm on capital. I'm not at risk of losing any stacks, really, and everyone else is. Black is more than happy to just chill, though, so I'm just going to keep opening their cap every turn. Yeah, black's quietly going to get so, so strong, as is blue. Blue a little bit less quietly, but hopefully orange is going to smash into this capital now. Adds everything to the 12 and hits the 14. We really need something like that to happen because the board stabilizing right now is just really bad for me. And the problem is that orange doesn't know what they're doing, I don't think. <laughs> so I'm a little skeptical that that's going to happen, but we'll see. Someone needs to address blue and black, and I don't want it to be me. They've got a 70 on cap, and they're making a reasonable attack. Every other turn, I swear, every other turn, orange does something smart. And then they're going to open me and black. 
Question is, do I steal Blue's Capital? I don't think I'm quite strong enough to take Blue's Cap. Because I could lose like 50 something on it, and then I lose both my caps and my game is over. Blue sets early, gets the 25. I feel like that's maybe going to go into orange. Everyone has been playing well since the very beginning when everyone was playing terribly. I'm so confused. I feel like all the players just like <laughs> were hustling me or something. <laughs> because this board has stabilized so quickly. And folks are being real good neighbors now. Maybe blue breaks orange and I here? No. Everyone wants to be a good neighbor. And I'm getting basically the worst deal. Yeah, I'm getting the worst deal. Hmm. What do I do about this, guys? I'm getting the worst deal, but these guys can't be chill with each other forever, right? Theoretically? Hmm, I think I open blue again. I don't really think I can do anything, and I don't need to trade here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And pull this back to cap. I don't think breaking anyone makes sense here. Because if I break orange, then orange just breaks me, right? That doesn't really accomplish anything for me long run. It makes orange weak, but it also makes me weak. And you could say the same about me hitting basically anyone else. Okay, he thought about attacking there. That was a little scary. He's lining up to take a capital. You see the 79 is like getting in position on Blue's cap? Very interesting. He's like, Blue, there's no way that Blue can guard all three of these capitals indefinitely, basically. Huh. Orange takes a not 100% roll again. The weirdest player I've ever played against. Is this guy a GM or is he a novice? And then he's going to move off cap? No, he's going to move on cap. No, he moves there. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I think we all lost our chance to do something about Blue. I wasn't really the one who was in position to do anything about that, but Blue has just been getting so many troops for so long now. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of just waiting for someone to suicide at this point. Like, there's really nothing I can do in my position. Let me know in the comments if you would, like, break orange or break black here. I don't really think I can. Like, I'm the weakest player now because everyone has been such a good neighbor. I'm just, like, absolutely shocked at what good neighbors these guys are. Um, Minnesota we could eventually get. I think we trade in the cavalry, right? So that there's more cavalry back in the deck, because that's what we're going to need. Can I steal a capital? Not really. Orange is blocking me from the New England caps. Yeah, again, I really think there's nothing I can do. I might just skip a lot of this game, to be honest with you, because there's really nothing that I can even do right now. Uh, I'm going to keep opening blue, I guess. It's the best thing I can think of doing. Whoa. Whoa! You guys see the hat move from Orange? He did 2v20 on Blue. Yeah, that, that does deserve a shock face. He did 2v20 on Blue, and then he moved off cap, and then said, I surrender, and now he's lined up. So now Blue is going to break him and steal this cap. Yeah, Orange just didn't know what to do. Orange was in a good position, just like ran out of patience. So now Blue has four capitals. I'm going to say good game. Yeah, I mean, that's over now. <laughs> Um, but then orange is going to hit this for sure, right? It doesn't matter how many he has there. Orange is hitting that. Wow. Okay. I mean, I could trade now because it is shenanigans time, but I don't think anyone's going to hit my cap. Um, let's see. I want orange to be open to everything, right? I want this to be open this way. But I don't want it to be open to my capital is the problem. I think I just take a card and pass. I mean, these guys are going to hit each other at some point. These guys are going to hit each other at some point. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is the play. All 
right, what happens now? Is Black going to finally do something? No. Black's just going to sit there, get in position. I like it from Black. Yeah, very interesting. So Black is ready to do some damage with the 90. That's going to hit regardless. That's why I said blue moving troops there didn't make sense because he was going to hit it. Like, you knew 100% that was going to happen. So, did not like that play from blue. Blue vows retaliation, but this is why I was just letting them chill and get strong, is like, eventually these guys are going to run out of patience, right? We know they're not GMs. We know almost 100% they're not GMs. This is going to hit the 32. This 31v30 is going to happen? No. Goes to cap? Sits there. Okay, so we're just feeding blue capitals now. That's wild. Blue sets, gets the 40. I think orange is dead now. Yeah, I think orange is dead now. Interesting. Okay. Now what happens? Maybe I take New England? Yeah, maybe I take New England here. Okay, sure. Interesting stuff. I think I do want another position, but let's see how blue guards this. I think blue and black are going to fight with each other because blue's been pretty aggressive and black is holding half the map now. So yeah, we do lose orange. Blue is not very fast at all. And he pathed that kind of weirdly too. So orange dies after an abysmally bad game. Sure. How many cards? Yeah, he has 45. I have a recording widget that always blocks the top player for me, so I actually can't see how many cards they have. But yeah, he got four cards from that, so that was actually good for blue in the scheme of things. That orange full suicided into them somehow turned out to be good for blue. Okay, he's guarding this whole side, so I think black does something about that now. Hmm. I could go through a lot of material and take New England. But I don't necessarily even want it, right, is the thing. Yeah. I'm going to let Black do something. And I'm going to hold on to my trade as well. I'm just going to play the uber, uber patient game. I will break Blue, because I need a card, right? And I'm either breaking Blue or Black. And then we're going to go back to cap. So black is going to do something about blue here. Let's see it. I'm going to let these guys be the aggressors. Black sets. He has 231, which is very scary. But I have 142 capital and five cards. So I'm feeling safe. That's going to go into blue for sure. Yeah. Takes New England, maybe. See where he goes with that. Breaks everything. See, these guys are going to fight now, so all we have to do is just be patient. Yeah. That, I was debating doing exactly what Black just did. Like, literally that exact pathing where you only have to hit through one of Blue's stacks. He's only going to take one of the capitals, which doesn't make sense to me. So now Blue is going to smash into Black really hard, and we're going to keep doing nothing. Yeah. These guys are just going to hit each other, and we're going to have one gigantic stack. It's going to be great. Black is guarding very effectively, though, on this one point, so maybe I do go aggressive to black here. We'll see. I don't mind black getting a little bit stronger, but the problem is they're stronger than blue now by a lot. So maybe we do have to team on black. Curious how blue plays this. I kind of can't let Black hold all of this. He doesn't even break. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point I care less about my bonus and more about breaking Black. Hmm. Could kill Blue. Eventually, right? Like, if I take the 7 here, that would be an interesting play. I think I take the 7 capital. Yeah, I think I take the 7 capital here. Um, yeah, let's do this. And then we'll go like this. Let's 
Let's do that. And unslider. Make sure we get there. Okay, we do. End attack phase and bring the three here. Okay, so blue just lost a lot right? Blue just lost a ton when both Black and I snapped into action. I'm gonna give Black a fist bump. It's a very, very friendly move to Black, obviously. Right, not breaking them in any of their bonuses. And now Black is very happy with the situation. Curious where the 57 goes. Back to capital. Interesting. So now Blue can actually break everyone, which they probably do, right? Although they've been very passive. Like, they've gone back and forth between very aggressive and very passive, which is kind of the mark of a bad player. But yeah, they're going to break here. Okay, they're slow rolling it. But yeah, they're going to break here, 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 I think. Cool. So yeah, as I said, I really don't mind getting broken at this phase of the game. The bonuses matter a lot less than positioning, capitals, not pissing people off. So this is very good. Obviously. Black says well played. That goes back to cap. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm just going to retake on my turn, I think. Yeah, this honestly seems good. And actually, we're connected all the way, so this can go all the way here, which is a lot of fun. Look at that little supply chain. I love that. Interesting game. Very interesting three-player endgame here. I'm going to go ahead and guess that blue is going to be the least patient of everyone. Blue's still getting 12. He sets, gets the 60. Where is that going? I should have opened him, but he's going to break again. Again, we're not guarding on this spot, right? We're not expecting to hold anymore. So Blue's just going to do this every turn. Makes sense. Okay, so now we need to open black. We need to open black to something. Question is, what do we open black to? I think we want to open black to the 49, maybe? Have black be able to go this way. Yeah, I like that play. Do I set for safety is the question. I don't think I need to. I mean, famous last words, but I don't think I need to. I'm going to do that. And do this. I'm not even going to retake my bonus. I'm literally just going to open black's capital. See what happens. Love that supply chain around the world. That's so much fun. Yeah, black sets. Black was on five. So I'm hoping they hit the 49, but I don't think they will. I think they just retake. We'll see. Very curious what black does now. Black is good enough to see what I did there, right? I've consistently been opening black's capital, but never breaking black. So I feel like black knows what I'm up to. He's going to break this bonus here, I think, and then retake this, add the rest of the cap. I like it. Makes sense. Yeah, I like it. Good play. Interesting stuff. Interesting that he doesn't retake this either. And he's opening me. Yeah, black is good. Who is this guy? Mar, Mar tend to kill. Interesting. Okay, blue's just going to retake. So now we get the biggest trade again. This is good. Okay. No capitals that really make sense to take. Yeah, no capitals that make sense to take. Although we could block blue from coming in this way if we work with black. Yeah, we could block blue from coming in this way. It would need to be a three point. See that? One point, two point, three point, or sorry, three point would block blue, but this would be next to the cap, so that's probably not realistic. Hmm. All right. 
I'm gonna try something a little strange. Uh, first of all, let's trade in. Yeah, looks fine. And uh, let's have a couple more here. And then rest goes on this cap, I think. Yeah, let's do this. I'm kind of just taking territory now. And I'm half just bored. But, I mean, I'm gonna try and hold something, right? Just, like, spice it up a little bit. That's mostly me just being tired of, like, doing nothing all game, to be perfectly honest. But now we have 16 territories, at least, so... Could get some extra for having territory, we'll see. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be a bonus holding game for much longer. Black is gonna take a bunch of bonuses. I'm not, I don't like that they left an 8 there. I'm gonna go unhappy face. Black's not going to like that I'm unhappy with them, right? Because black is already fighting with blue. And blue's going to break black for sure. Yep. I don't know that I break black. Maybe I just threaten it. We actually somehow did hold that bonus. I had a weird feeling I was going to hold that bonus for some reason. And now we get plus 14. Interesting. I could steal this 49 cap, right? 75 plus whatever I got. It'll be close, but I could do it. What do I want to be open? Black's capital is open. Interesting. I think I want the 60 to be open, actually. Yeah, I want that 60 to be open. So I'm going to do this and go like this. Whenever possible, we just want to open people, basically. That's our whole game right now. And by open, I mean, if, if you're new to risk, by open, I mean that, like, I want these stacks to be able to attack in different directions so that blue and black can hit each other. Versus, like, yeah, you can see he adds there. Versus if this is a black one, he actually can't go that way. Yeah, he moves out. I'm gonna go fist bump. Now he knows what I was angry about if he didn't already. I think blue probably does that same move where they do the reach around, right, and break black from behind, and also break me in the process, but we'll see. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how I've played this game, all things considered. Like, the other players were all getting stronger than me, and yet I have 300 troops and 4 cards right now, so not bad at all. I'm ahead of blue, and I'm close to black. Okay, he's going to go around this way and break black. Now he breaks me. Why do you go down that way then? That's weird. All right. So this guy's just a breaker, which we knew already. So interesting. It's like no one else can get a bonus but me, right? Like I'm going to guard my bonuses, but everyone else I'm going to break, even though I'm the weakest player. And then he's going to miss the chance to fortify. This guy's dumb. Oh, I'm very tempted to steal the 49 capital. It's such a bad cap, honestly. <laughs> Florida, I mean, like, we don't really want Florida even. Interesting. I don't think I need to trade. I think we can just keep getting the biggest trade every single time. And these guys are all open. Um, I want Black to be open to hit this 47, ideally, which he is. Yeah, I think I just do this. I think, once again, we really don't need to do anything. Just go like that. And back to cap. Okay, he retakes that bonus, and he's gonna remove black again. Rolls the 2v1. This is hilarious, dude. Black's gotta lose his temper at some point. Right? He has to lose his temper at some point. I think we just gotta, like, let these guys fight. That's exactly what Black is thinking. Black's just thinking, like, oh, hopefully white and blue will fight. Um, hmm. He did add to that cap, so now it's a 96. Yeah. I'm gonna show Black that I'm on his team again, and we'll see what happens. Okay. 
I'm on your side, dude. Let's hit blue. Yeah, he's still not doing anything. Like, this is not anything. Blue's still getting strong. I cannot believe we let this guy catch up. He's being such an idiot, but both Black and I are just hoping the other one deals with him. So I think I make the first move against Blue. Here's the thing, though. If I make the first move against Blue, and I just hit Blue really hard as a show of good faith, I think overwhelmingly likely that Black doesn't actually help me. I think Black's just like, yes, this is what I wanted. Now these guys are in a war. So I don't even know that I can do that. I think that just gives me third. Yeah, I think that just gives me third. Interesting. Blue clearly doesn't know that three-player endgames are supposed to stalemate. <laughs> this is kind of where risk breaks, to be honest with you. Okay, he's finally putting troops on capital. Kind of learned his lesson, right? I don't think we need to trade. I don't think my caps are in any kind of danger here. But Black's not going to do anything. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. Let's, let's show Blue, let's show Black that we're willing, right? We're willing to fight with Blue. Okay. See that? I'm willing to fight this guy. Okay. Thanks. Help me. See if he gets the message there. He likes it. Do something now. Do something. He sets, gets the 95. Come on, hit blue. Hit blue. Hit the 96. Do something. Do something good. If he steals my cap, I swear to God, I'm going to be so mad. He's going to take the 96, I think. Yeah. Nice. No, he doesn't? Okay, he breaks. Nice. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. Interesting. It says good luck. So we finally do hit blue. Wonder what blue does now. I'm glad I did that show of good faith to Black. That worked exactly how I wanted it to. And I'm really happy that Black just didn't like stay passive after that. Blue's just going to retake all his stuff um, and do nothing really significant, I think. He kind of retreats, it looks like. Just stays there. No, he's going to go out with the 96 and break me. Yeah. Hopefully he misses the Fortify and I can take the Florida Capital. Yeah, break. We obviously weren't expecting to hold either bonus, and it doesn't matter at this point. And we did trade last again, so we're going to get the biggest trade. Please run out of time to Fortify. Please run out of time to Fortify. I'm so stealing the Florida Cap when he runs out of time, dude. No, 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 run out of time, run out of time, run out of time. Ooh, he just barely got that in. He just barely got that in. Wow. Um, okay. Now we're specifically targeting blue, right? Specifically, we're targeting blue here. Um, I don't want to trade in the wild card, but I have to. That sucks. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh... Let's do that. Let's do this. Okay. So, yeah, now we're specifically targeting blue with everything here. Hopefully black likes this. Uh, let's do this. Obviously, it's, like, not important that I hit all of these territories. It's, like, purely symbolic, right, at the end of the day. Okay, make sure we don't run out of time to fortify. Okay, we have two uh, 234 caps. That's very interesting how that worked out. Yeah, 
I don't mind if he hits my territory is the thing. Like, I almost wish I had an attack my territory if you need to button right now, but we don't have alliances on. Problem is, if blue decides to suicide now, they might suicide into me. Black has been more aggressive to them, given that turn where they just hit all of blue's off-capital stacks. But that's really what I'm thinking about right now, is like, when blue inevitably gets sick of this happening, who are they going to suicide into? I feel like I've hit blue enough now, where I need black to do something. Breaks me again. Yep, fair enough. That 83 cap is very much vulnerable, but if I take it, then I give Black the lead. And I think Black and I are both kind of looking at each other right now and trying to figure out who's going to be in the slight advantage once Blue's out of this game eventually. So I'm going to break Blue again. Uh, yep. Let's do that. And... Like this, just to make sure we get it. Okay, looks good, and this goes back to cap. Okay, so, I mean, it should be very, very clear to black what's happening, right? And I actually do like that blue broke me here, because now black can feel comfortable going this way. I want black to go through me, and so now he knows he's not being aggressive to me by going that way. And he's figuring out how many he needs on the 92, I think. I think that's what's happening now, is he's like pre-splitting. So he leaves 160 there, and then this is going to hit the 92. Once that happens, I'll be in good shape, and I've been trying to get this exact thing to happen for so long. I think that's what he's doing. He's getting ready to do it, or he's getting ready to hit me. Let's give him, let's give him a fist bump. I don't think he's getting ready to hit me. Blue's gonna break me, but like I literally don't care. I, I literally don't care. Yep, takes that back and splits. <laughs> Oh my god. That's so funny. He leaves an 80 off capital when black is literally lining up to hit you. No, he's going to add that to cap. Okay, makes sense. This 76 better be going on to the 92, dude. It would be such a big mistake. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's incorrect. That is very much incorrect. So, yeah, we're, we're very much encouraging this to happen now. Um, I think this... Let's break here. And then this goes back to cap. Yeah. It's all psychology at this point, right? It's pure psychology. We've been here for over an hour. He's getting ready to hit. He's fully getting ready to hit the 92. I think you should have done it there, though. Yeah, breaks. Black's getting a plus two, and blue's getting a bunch, but I don't really care. Hmm, do I just hit the 92? I don't think so. I think that really weakens me if I do it. Yeah. Problem is, again, I don't want blue to sue into me once they're ready to do that. So we're going to trade in the calves. Oh, no, I don't have cavalry. I'm dumb. Okay, let's do this. And... Do I hit the 10? Kind of tempted to hit the 10, but I'm not going to. He says to fight. Let's make this a 250. And let's do this. And that's my turn. Okay. We're looking strong. We have over 600 troops right now and basically 100% on capital. I think black is about to hit the 92. I'm really hoping. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well played. Okay. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Unfortunately, it's happening a lot. Unfortunately, it's happening a lot later than I wanted it to happen, but 
This is quite good. Quite, quite good. I mean, obviously we're afraid of Black, who now has three caps, but I think that's going to go straight into Black's 102 here, which is a really bad attack, right? No, he doesn't. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I'm tempted to just give up this capital, to be honest with you, because I don't want there to be anything fun that blue can do to me. I don't want there to be anything fun that blue can do to me. So I'm very tempted to just give up the cap, but that's probably a bad idea, right? It's probably a bad idea. Yeah, black gives me a fist bump. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to take a card here, but I think I just do this. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I intentionally didn't add to the 250. I don't want to draw any attention to this, right? And blue is, like, lining up here. Black didn't like that. I don't know why black didn't like that. Maybe because I didn't hit blue? Let me give him another fist bump. Let me know what you want me to do, black, and I will do it. Black gives me a fist bump. Not really sure why he gave me the angry face. Did I, like, open blue or something by accident? I'm not sure. Blue is going back to his old ways where he's, like, guarding his bonuses with his life and breaking everyone else's bonuses, but hasn't gotten him very far. Uh, I could trade. But I kind of like having the flexibility of not trading. Yeah, I like having the flexibility of not trading, although it is shenanigans time. It is shenanigans time, so I'm going to trade. I don't want blue looking at me at all. So I'm going to do this. Uh, let's make this a 400, I think. And then rest goes here. Because I just don't want blue to even think about hitting anything of mine, right? And now we're in a pretty commanding lead. 740 right now. Feeling good. Oh man, he really didn't like that. What? Why? Why? Because I'm not helping with blue? What the heck was that? I guess because I'm not helping with blue? Alright, fair enough. I guess I'll help with blue a little bit. I just don't want to get sued into right now. Hmm. What do I do about that? I guess I should just hit blue, right? But I just feel like blue is one big attack away from suiciding into somebody. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to do this. This is going to be a pretty wacky play. So I'm going to go fist bump. And I'm going to put it here. This is on the surface a very friendly play. Yeah, black wants me to fight. I get you. Okay. You happy about that? Okay. So now I hit a lot of blue. And I'm going to go on to one capital. So again, I don't want there to be any reason for anyone to look at me. I want someone to take this cap, not have enough troops to guard it effectively, and for these guys to fight over it. So yes, I did lose a lot of troops doing that, and I lost the capital. Yeah, Black is confused. Black is very confused. But this is why I did that. I lost the capital, I lost a lot of troops, and I pissed off Blue. On the other hand, I think I'm going to cause a future war between these guys over this cap. Black doesn't take it, which is very interesting. So blue's probably going to take it now, right? Like, blue can't resist. I'll admit that was a really random out there play. Like, I've never really done that where I've given up a capital trying to cause a war over it. But I kind of think it's good, and it makes me less juicy of a kill, right? Or not of a kill, but like, it makes it less juicy for someone to think about hitting me. Hits the 109. Dude, did that work or did that work? Did that work or did that work? And the reason I attacked up there 
Ostensibly, it was to hit more of blue, but it was actually to open blue to hitting black's capital, which she wouldn't have been if I didn't attack up. So gotta say, I think that was actually a master class, even though black was confused about it. And now these guys are both a lot weaker. Yeah. That was very interesting. And now we're going to open blue this way. He's, or sorry, black this way. He's already opened this way. But I'm going to do this. And another fist bump to black. End attack phase and move back. Okay, so black probably is realizing by now what I'm trying to do. But this is so interesting to me, right? He's going to take these back. Did this work or did this work, dude? Did this work or did this work? Oh my god. I am such a genius, I gotta say. This was like the biggest next level move. Giving up a capital and causing just absolute total war between these guys who have not really done anything meaningful. Dude, I feel so good about the way this game has gone. And now blue is gonna suicide into black here. So blue says I surrender, right? But like, they're not gonna hit my 716 because where's the fun in that? They're gonna go and hit some of these fun looking 45, 64 caps, right? They're gonna go south and just smash and then I can just cap run because I have all my troops in the same place. Dude, come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Where is he going with that? He does smash into me, but he lost a ton anyway and he feeds me his kill. So I actually don't even really mind that. Man, this is epic. This is this is really epic. Can I card block black? Um, uh, maybe. So let's kill blue. May be able to card block black here. But we can probably set that up on a subsequent turn. Yeah. Um Let's leave like four here. Yeah. We'll figure out we'll figure everything else out later in terms of like where we want our troops to be. Okay. This is good. Um, and then we're gonna hit through the 64. Yeah, through the 64, I think. Gotta make sure we have enough time. Let's do this. Yeah, I scrolled the wrong way. Okay. So, we're in a pretty commanding lead right now, and we have five cards. So, I'm gonna say good game. Yeah, he sees it too. Well played. Yeah, he sees it. Nice. Okay, we get the win. That feels good. Good game. Uh, we can world dom, I think. Uh, if we put everything, we need seven here. Yeah, and then we go this way, and then the rest here. Okay, let's try it. Nice, let's go. Big hit. Boom, that feels fun. Okay, here we go. Oh man, I couldn't world dom because I did it in the wrong order. Yeah, all right, man. I did I did that incorrectly, right? Because this is the cap. But one more time. Yeah. Good game. And we messed up the world dump, but we get the win. Black is celebrating. I'm celebrating. Ooh, that was a hard fought one. That was like, what, a uh, 75 minute game almost? Feels good to win it. We got into the stable three player end game a little bit there, but I gotta say, I think I played that well. Black was absolutely a master and blue was a beginner. Totally makes sense. These two guys who fought over the new corner and bought it immediately were novices, were all shocked, and Orange was a novice as well. Orange did a couple things accidentally that were really smart that threw me off their trail, but yeah, basically all novices except for Black, which totally get it. That was a really fun game, guys, I gotta say. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like this video and if you love Risk in general, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, join the squad, we got a lot more awesome content coming, and I will see you all in the next one.